So yesterday I created a tutorial that showed you how to disable the Bixby button on the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus. And while that definitely will help a lot of people to not accidentally press this button or at least to not have anything open up when we accidentally press the button, a lot of people feel that since the button is already there, they wish that they could remap it to another action. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Today's guide will show you how to remap the Bixby button on the Galaxy S9 and Galaxy S9 Plus with a free application in the Play Store called BX Actions. I'll have a link to this application in the full tutorial, which will be linked below this video, or you can just do a search for it in the Google Play Store. Once downloaded and installed, we're just going to go ahead and launch the BX Actions application. It's going to take us to the screen. We're just going to tap on Next. And before we continue, first we need to make sure that the Bixby app has been opened and set up once, which basically means just open up the Bixby Home application, go through the tutorial pages, and then make sure that you go that you are presented with the Bixby Home application and all of its cards before we continue. And if you follow the guide yesterday on how to disable the Bixby button, we're gonna go we're gonna need to go back into that application and enable the button again because since we're going to use it, it needs to be enabled. With that done though, we can go ahead and get the foreground application by enabling the permissions and then we're going to need to enable the get buttons event so we're just going to go into services very nice little demo and if you wanted to on that other page there is also a uh, volume button because the BX Actions application can also remap the Galaxy S9 and Galaxy S9 Plus volume buttons for things like skipping the music tracks whenever the screen is not on. But today we're just going to keep things simple and only focus on the Bixby button and its remap actions. So here we have a number of actions we can choose here. For the app, we can stop the app, or we can stop the app. Once the app has been started, then we can go in and set an action. So again, as I mentioned, that this can be done with the volume up and volume down buttons as well. We're going to go in here and tap on... Tap on the Bixby option. We can set a standard action from things like the Google Assistant Extra. We have some sound options like media play pause, media next, media previous, volume up, volume down, do not disturb, and different rotate between the different sound modes. We can launch the task manager, open up the power menu, bring up the notification center or the settings tray. And then for premium, if you want to pay the in-app purchase, then we can do things like take a screenshot, enable the heads up notifications for on or off, and launch tasker task. The full screen version off and on the full screen for current app and then some others so we're just going to scroll all the way up the up at the top of this page and again you can see we can enable or disable the button from here we can have that button act as the home or back options we can launch the camera directly with that button we can launch a shortcut action or we can again set it to launch a specific action. So we're just going to select the launch application option 
and that's going to give us a list of all of the different applications we have installed on our device right now so if for example we wanted the Bixby button to launch the settings application we have that set we have it set to settings then we can press the home button and then now once we press that it's going to launch the settings application again you can have this set to open up Google Assistant to open up the camera application to sp uh, trigger specific application shortcuts there are a lot of things that you can do with this button and even the volume up and volume down buttons with the BX Actions application. So that is how to remap the Bixby button on the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus with a free application from the Play Store.